Joanna Canals and Paula Haddock. Thanks for watching Colorado's Best. I'm Joanna Canals. And I'm Jenna Middaw. Paula has the day off again, but we've got Phil Harding, Colorado's best attorney, here with us. So, Phil, it's nice to see you again. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Good to have you. First time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice to I meet you. I know you guys have met, Phil. This is Jenna. Jenna, this is Phil. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. And you always just bring such great legal advice that I, I like, use this in my life, like, daily. Mm -hmm. I, I talk to Phil a lot. So, today we're talking about how to collect more money in a car accident case. Then the total amount of insurance, is that even possible? Did I read that right in the teleprompter? Doesn't that sound crazy? Yeah. Um, so I want our viewers to know that you, look, the other side, and let's say you're in a car accident or hurt on the property of another, they have insurance, right? And they have insurance limits. It's either here in Colorado, state minimums are 25000 So in a car accident, they maybe have 25000 may have 50000 they may have 50 bazillion um, but it just doesn't matter. They have limits, and, and you need to know what those limits are. So I always thought that the most that the other side's insurance company will pay is the policy limit, but that's not the case, right? Maybe more. Um, and so if the insurance company takes risk with their insured's money, they are liable for those decisions. Doesn't make sense right now, but it's going to. And let me t give you an example. So let's say you um, get in a car wreck, and let's say your medical bills are 20000 You would go to the other guy, the guy that ran into you, his insurance company, and say, give me your full policy limits of 25000 But what if they don't? What if the insurance company says, you know what, I think it's partially your fault, or you exaggerated your injuries, or you overtreated. You know, just choose the flavor of the day because insurance companies make up excuses for anything. And so if they say, nope, we're not going to pay the policy limits, let's see what happens if you go to trial. All right, so if you go to trial then um, and you get a verdict of 75000 a jury says, you know what, man, you had 20000 of medical bills, yeah, we're going to give you $75,000. So now the insurance company comes up and says, oh, wow. I really wish we would have paid that 25000 but we're giving it to you now. And the defendant, the guy that ran into you that has the insurance company, he's now liable for the difference, which is $50,000. So right now what we're looking at is crazy math. And here's what's going on. If the insurance company had paid the $25,000 at the very beginning, the only thing that the guy would have to pay you, the bad guy that ran into you, is his deductible, let's say of 500 bucks. But now, because the insurance company told you to go fly a kite uh, and you had to file a lawsuit, that bad guy now owes $50,000. He's on the hook because of the insurance company's bad decision. So since he made that bad decision, um, you know, the insurance company did, this guy owes $50,000. So now he has a bad faith claim against his insurance company for making that bad decision. That, isn't that weird? That is weird, and I love how you use like the bad guy. I mean, you just break it down for us. Yeah, well, we know the bad guy, but the, the bad guy, in this one scenario, he only had to pay the $500 deductible or whatever his deductible was when you made that policy limit demand. Because the insurance company said, we're not going to accept that policy limit demand, and you went to trial, the bad guy is on the hook for 50000 So you say, give me or assign me your claim for that $50,000 against your insurance company. And by the way, there's a law in Colorado, bad faith claim. So not only would you get 50,000, you can get treble damages against that insurance company. It really makes a lot of money. Um, so it, policy limit demands, super important, super powerful. All right, and so is having a good attorney. Right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> because yeah. sometimes when you talk, Phil, I'm like, I, it's just going over my head. And you always offer a free consultation to people, you know, just so they can see if they have a case or anything's out there. Right, yeah. Um, talk to me or another attorney, um, especially if you're going to do a policy limit demand um, about medical bills, any of that. Don't send medical bills to the other side. They're not your friend and they're not going to pay them. All right, Phil, thanks for joining us every Friday with great legal advice. And if you have a question for our legal expert, go to kdvr.com and click on Colorado's Best. You're going to see Phil Harding's photo on the right. Just click there and send him your questions, and he will answer each one personally and confidentially. To reach Harding & Associates directly, call 303-762-9500. You can get a free consultation anytime. You can also find him online at hlaw.com.